This story is about my husband and myself. We came from Naples uh, when we were teenagers. And so this play involves the story of this family and these three girls who are coming up in 1960, right before the Beatles, right, you know, as everything was changing. When did you come? When? when? 1958. Everybody told me it cooked pretty good, so you know, when you, somebody encourages you in something, you want to do more of it. Yeah, yeah. And then I met my husband, who was in this business, and sort of it all culminated into a restaurant. We were immigrants, so you left the grandmother, you left the family, mm -hmm. and food for me was memory, was love, was connection back to, to my roots. In Italian, you eat one meal, and you talk about what you're going to eat the next meal. <laughs> so, Thank so we're ready. You. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Food seems to cure everything. You must eat to continue, you know, just to keep you alive. And when food transcends that and gives you that extra, then it becomes a piece of art and the chef becomes an artist. Mm, that's delicious. In our play, both times that we sit down at the table to eat, a big argument happens. <laughs> so we never actually get to finish the meal. So no, the but... Italian table is all about, first of all, of course, love yeah. and uh, togetherness yeah. and family unity. And then it continues. It, uh, it could go into a finale of singing, card playing, or it could go into an argument. Yeah. Food tells you who you are. It reflects the culture. It reflects a, a country because of its climate, topography, whatever. So for me, food is very important because it tells a story.